Hi, Bo and dear children. Uh, today our uh, lesson is uh, according to textbook, third lesson. Uh, that is internet and uh, email. Uh, first, we have to consider uh, what is this internet. Uh, so, actually the internet is the interconnected uh, computer networks all over the world uh, we connect all these computers or the networks using cables that mean guided media or unguided media so internet is the connection of or connecting of computer networks all over the world uh, some people think that the WW and the internet is C but it is not uh, two different things internet and the ww so later on i'll explain what is ww and uh, now we know that internet is the interconnected computer networks all over the world the purpose of this connecting is uh, to share information uh, so let's see what is uh, email then actually email is a main service email is the main service of uh, or the major service of internet uh, next we have uh, ip address uh, as i told you the connecting of computers all over the world so we need some method to identify these computers individually so that we use ip address uh, ip ip main inter uh, internet protocol uh, these, uh, the, as I mentioned you, uh, these are uh, four de decimal notation uh, number system or numbering code. Uh, and as it is not uh, sufficient for, uh, now we have uh, six uh, group number system with the uh, decimal notation. Uh, so this is very clear. You can, you must use your textbook. In textbook uh, page number 66 uh, it is mentioned very clearly so you have to refer the book even so uh, that is what IP address IP address is actually used to identify uniquely a computer uh, that is the number system numbering method uh, so next we have the web browsers actually these web browsers we use to uh, log into the or, uh, or uh, log into the internet and these browsers uh, can understand or uh, browsers identify HTML pages. So uh, the web browsers are used to display web pages. Uh, the web pages, uh, there are include uh, the language that we use to uh, develop or create the web pages is HTML. So these web uh, browsers can understand this HTML language. Uh, that is the need of, uh, need of web browsers. So here are some names of web browsers. Uh, the first one, uh, th this is the Mozilla Firefox, this one, and uh, here Opera, uh, this is Safari, uh, and this is Internet Explorer, this is newly introduced one, uh, Microsoft Edge, and the Google Chrome, this is the one that most of the people use, these two uh, web browsers, this is also for the mobile phones, and uh, most of the using uh, uh, web browsers are these Mozilla, uh, Google Chrome and the Opera. Uh, so our uh, next one is Uniform Resource Locator that is we mentioned as URL. Actually this URL is normally we call this URL as a web address. Following is the web address. So uh, here is uh, a web address. Uh, this is you know that uh, edupub uh, gov dot lk the domain name so uh, this is the final uh, expectation of this uh, web address uh, uh, our need is to go to this ict 11 uh, document so to get that ict edu uh, 11 uh, document is contained in this domain name so uh, before that we have to uh, group or we have to analyze this web address so let's see uh, what is this uh, this analyzation uh, first is http http is uh, hypertext transfer protocol uh, 
later on I will explain these all these uh, uh, group what are the meaning or what are the use of these groups just we understand what is here uh, the analyzation only the uh, web page uh, sorry website so uh, HTTP is a protocol uh, WW is the main service that is what you have to understand here and uh, edupub.gov.lk is the domain name uh, and the .gov here .gov is a top level domain uh, and also there is another top level domain .lk uh, that is also top level domain uh, it is as a country domain and here is the what we need ICT 11 is the resource or the uh, or the document uh, or the file actually file what we uh, wanted to get or what, uh, what we wanted to see or download uh, using that website so yes here is the protocols uh, there are uh, some protocols uh, actually a protocol is uh, internet is controlled by the protocols here uh, protocols are need uh, in internet there is no one to control it now as example if I want to get some uh, website or video no one to give it, give it us uh, so it is controlled by the protocol protocol is actually a rule or a, a, a functioning method so uh, you can clearly understand what is this when when i explain this http hypertext transfer protocol is exchange of html document and now we have this html uh, language uh, very soon because uh, this is in our uh, syllabus so we have to go through that At, uh, now you have to understand i know that uh, some people some students may know what is this uh, html and some, some may not know so uh, html is a, a language actually it is not a computer language but used to develop uh, websites or the web pages so html is the coding system that we use to develop the uh, uh, web pages so HTTP is that means the hypertext transfer protocol is these HTML pages exchanging method or exchanging of this HTML is we call as a HTTP because in internet no one they are to exchange this HTML this protocol uh, uh, do that so uh, TCP IP is another protocol that is, that is transmission control uh, protocol and the internet uh, protocol uh, this is uh, control the ex exchange of IP address uh, we assign the IP address in a network using this protocol so this protocol controls IP that means uh, individually or uh, we, we, there, there cannot be two IP uh, in, the, in the computer in the internet uh, these are the controlling of uh, TCP IP uh, then we have FTP protocol that means file transferring protocol uh, that is the file exchanging the uh, exchanging of file in internet controlled and uh, uh, do that according to this uh, law that is we call as FTP uh, the next one is we have SMTP that means simple mail transfer protocol uh, that is actually a email exchanging uh, we know that uh, whenever we need if we have a email we can log into the internet and get our email uh, this exchanging and controlling is done by this uh, protocol that is we call as simple mail transfer protocol uh, ICMP uh, this is internet control message protocol when we are in internet there are uh, messages actually when we cannot log into the uh, log into certain website then display a message that message giving system that display uh, system is called as ICMP uh, that is also a protocol uh, it gives us uh, the this uh, uh, error messages giving error messages while we are in internet is that uh, that is called as a uh, ICMP that is internet control message protocol then we have servers actually what are these servers servers are uh, servers are the 
uh, with the very big storage and very fast uh, type of computers uh, in in internet these are the storages actually computer storages so there are three types of uh, servers first one is web server uh, the next one is mail server and the dns server so we have to consider uh, each these servers the function in or the use of these servers so the web server actually in web server contain all the websites uh, as i explained earlier these websites are created using the html uh, language or uh, so the uh, storage or the collection very large collection very big collection of these html uh, documents stored in these web servers those html documents are also called as websites uh, because this uh, using the html we develop a web page one web page collection of these web pages we called website so the collection of these websites uh, store in these web servers uh, those are the things that we uh, retrieve from the uh, internet and then we have the uh, mail server in mail server actually contain the emails all the emails uh, and now we know that our emails are uh, in the uh, computer uh, not in our own computer but they are in internet that is why we can get our email wherever we go so uh, these servers contain the emails the next one we have uh, dns server that is a domain name server uh, that is a method of functioning uh, uh, the IP address or the convert into uh, uh, that mean convert this uh, web address into IP here it is happening like this now as example this is my computer in my computer I uh, input this uh, www.google.com from URL that means web address so it goes to this web server and web server send this www.google.com uh, the address into DNS server this DNS server is the one who convert this uh, www.google.com into this IP address Th that mean uh, in according to this IP address here is a website so this web server identify not uh, uh, not with the name but with the uh, number so this is conversion of uh, we know that uh, computer is a functional numbering system this www.google.com uh, is used for the users because user difficult to remember this numbering system uh, it is easy users uh, uh, user for the user it is easy to remember this uh, text so that is why all these web uh, addresses are in text but the computer identified it as a numbering system so this conversion these uh, text uh, written text web address convert into IP that is done by the DNS server so that is the function or oh, that is the need of DNS server I think it is clear DNS server convert uh, URL or the web address into IP address because uh, this uh, computer contains or the store this IP address and uh, relevant uh, relevant website use this web server uh, then we uh, then uh, there are many services in internet so let's see uh, some of them uh, www as I mentioned you earlier uh, most of the people think that the WW and the internet are uh, similar but it is not different the WW is the collection of huge HTML documents that mean collection of very large web pages is we call as WWW earlier I told you that these w these uh, web pages store in web servers that is that is the, the develop these websites store in uh, web servers so ww mean the collection of these websites huge collection of these websites we call as www 
uh, that is the main service uh, of the internet uh, so next we have file transferring that mean this also very uh, this is the main service and uh, this is what we need this is what we do in uh, internet service of sending and receiving of file site text image voice and everything uh, actually we call these images voice and text as a file so image file uh, some video file these are exchanging exchanging uh, exchanging of this also uh, very big service so search engines uh, actually uh, we need search engines we cannot remember URL lists that mean uh, web address to log into certain website we should remember uh, websites uh, that mean the web address I uh, some web addresses we can remember as example uh, www.nie.lk that is because it is very small uh, web ad, uh, we, there are there are only three letters as nie so we can easily remember that but all the web addresses we cannot remember all the urls we cannot remember so there is a service uh, google bing yahoo us lycos these are the uh, service that they supply these are search engines so when we write some certain word or uh, certain uh, uh, one or two words uh, connected with that uh, web address we can easily find that uh, web address as example let's say i want to uh, log into the uh, department of education but i don't know the url so i can uh, su supply the some letters in this google or uh, bing search engine just like department of examination sri lanka so i can easily find the url uh, that service is called as a search engine then m i m instant messaging this is service of sharing short messages uh, short message service supply uh, as example uh, th there are many softwares or the services as whatsapp viber so on uh, these are the uh, short message service and video conferencing uh, this is also a uh, given service having conference conference between two or many audio visually that means we can have conference with video with the sound that means uh, audio and video this is what we call as video conference uh, for this we can use these following uh, following softwares skype is very famous and today whatsapp most of the people use and zoom so on there are so many uh, video conferencing uh, softwares then we have social network actually this social network make the relationship between uh, the users of the uh, of these uh, social networks uh, very commonly we use most of the people use facebook facebook is very famous or popular uh, social network and today whatsapp WhatsApp also a social network. Most of the people use this Viber, Instagram, Twitter, uh, and as well as here not mentioned that uh, YouTube. YouTube also a social network. Many people use it and share this uh, for the uh, sometime uh, for the entertainment. They use uh, this and the, uh, share in these their documents, valuable documents maybe. Email. Email is a very good service of sending and receiving uh, letters uh, electronic letters this is uh, met this method is we call as email uh, this is what you here you have uh, in our paper most of the papers we get the uh, question from this section so here we have we need a clear understanding of uh, email uh, this is a picture of this uh, e uh, email i'll explain it here too uh, the uh, when i want to send an email for a person i write uh, the email here their email address here here it mentioned as kushar so i i need to send a, a email to all these three people just as chatuni and vanuja in uh, CC it means carbon copy 
BCC mean blind carbon copy. Here we have to remember that uh, this two that means Kushal knows that uh, Chatuni got the same email and Chatuni knows that Kushal got the same email and uh, BCC uh, Vanujo, uh, Vanujo also knows that Chatuni and Kushal both of them got the same email but here you have to remember uh, Kushal and Chatuni they do not know that Vanujo got the same uh, email uh, this blind co carbon copy as example if I want to mention that uh, in a school a principal uh, they are uh, a principal want to send an email uh, to a mother and uh, they, they, uh, that family has two children uh, they are in that school so these two students the principal send uh, email to these two students and as well as uh, to parent but uh, these two children uh, they do not know that uh, the same email got them, their parent uh, the parent mentioned as in BCC I think now it is clear this BCC knows BCC uh, the email the person in BCC knows that uh, these two people these two people got the uh, same mail but these two people do not know that uh, here uh, the email in BCC uh, got the same email that is what you have to remember here uh, there might be some question on this uh, uh, email so it is very clear you can understand then uh, cloud computing uh, actually what is the, this cloud computing? Cloud computing is a service uh, that concept or service of supplying software and storages. Uh, if you have an email address, uh, email, that means you are already using cloud. So this uh, concept of supplying software and storages is called as cloud computing. Uh, in cloud mm -hmm. computing, uh, there are three services as infrastructure as a service IaaS, platform as a service PaaS and software as a service SAS. I know that if I say this uh, it is difficult to understand so I'll explain this each one. Uh, infrastructure as a service that means uh, the internet suppliers the facility of storing that means storage facility. So in this uh, we can uh, now as example if I have some documents it can be some photos or the images or the videos I can store in uh, internet that mean internet mean actually a servers in the internet so that is uh, that service is called as uh, in, uh, infrastructure as a service that mean uh, storage facility of servers or the internet then next we have uh, platform as a service this is why this is actually uh, supplying us a platform to build up software as example <coughs> uh, we know that Ubuntu is a software that mean operating system this is a open uh, source that mean they give us the source if I am a good programmer I can edit and I can develop actually I can develop that software to develop that software uh, the internet supply as the necessary platform uh, now uh, another example you have Joomla Joomla is a platform to develop uh, websites or web pages uh, we can develop these web pages uh, online uh, so for that uh, gives us the necessary uh, environment that means platform uh, by the uh, internet so that service is called as a platform as a service and next we have uh, software as a service that means uh, we know that we uh, down we can download uh, software uh, from internet but here it is not without downloading or without installing our computer we can use some software online uh, if i explain you further uh, if i want to edit my image i need a software like uh, photoshop or illustrator like that but i don't have that software in my computer so i can get uh, 
software software mean uh, image image editing software i can directly log into the uh, internet and get that software and do my work uh, this is this service is so called as software as a service that means supplying of uh, necessary software through internet that is what we call as software as a service uh, so uh, in this cloud computing uh, we know that there are very uh, big advantages but there are advantages and disadvantages both so here uh, first one is uh, lower cost that means software cost actually uh, if we use some software we must buy them uh, as example if I uh, buy a Photoshop software uh, it may cost nearly 1 lakh so it is big amount so I need not to buy that software I can directly log into the internet and uh, use so a lower cost that mean I need not to pay for the software then next is save the storing space actually when I use cloud space uh, my computer my own computer space is uh, reserved so uh, remain then I can use that storing so that is we call as save the storing space next is ability of using even personal data at any time anywhere yes when we store in a cloud space I can get that documents or the files or the resources anywhere uh, I go and uh, anytime uh, so that is the uh, another ad advantage then instant uh, software update Th this means if we use software we have to maintain them that means we have to get the update so uh, we need not to get update when we uh, directly log into the uh, internet and use fewer maintenance issues yes actually uh, these maintenance should be done for the software and hardware both as example if my hard disk is uh, uh, full with the data or the uh, uh, software maybe then I need to get another uh, hard disk that means uh, external hard disk I have to connect to my computer as it is not sufficient my inner hardware uh, inner hard disk this is what we call as maintain and also if I use some software I have to get update I cannot get update uh, I have to pay uh, license software should be to get the update so these are the maintenance of uh, software and hardware uh, these are the uh, uh, fever maintenance of these uh, uh, hardware that mean I actually I need not to maintain because I when I log into the internet I can get these facilities that is what here but here here these are the disadvantages of uh, this uh, cloud computing let's see uh, now uh, let's see what are these disadvantages uh, requires a constant uh, internet connection yes when we log into the internet actually we need a good internet connection if we don't have good con internet connection uh, it is difficult to log into and get these services uh, no good internet connection in some area and difficult to connect to internet yes we know that there are uh, in, in in Sri Lanka there are no good connection in every places uh, this is a difficulty when we log into the cloud computing and hacker may have data yes another problem is this uh, when we store our valuable data and private data just like images own if we store in cloud computing hackers may uh, hack them or some other people can get those our uh, our information without knowing so these are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, cloud computing and uh, I think uh, I explain you a necessary uh, part for this uh, uh, lesson uh, then you have to use your textbook further and I'll supply you some um, uh, question papers uh, very soon for this uh, lesson that means the lesson third before that you have to go through this uh, video several times and get the knowledge and meanwhile 
uh, you have to go through this book um, well with the video uh, so uh, thank you and uh, let's uh, let uh, let's make, uh, meet another video like this and uh, soon i'll up, um, upload you the questions for this uh, uh, for this le third lesson